Now what I want to do is get some of my uh, some of my Merc convert it back into Satoshi's or Bitcoin and get it back into my secure Bitcoin wallet. So let's work through that process. And what I'll be doing is I will sell my Merc. And in this case, I will use my Ether balance as the mechanism to facilitate this. So there will be a cost to make the sale in Ether. And now let's wait and see what happens and see if that comes across. So I'm hoping to see that show up in this wallet. Actually, I must check in my transactions because if there's a pending transaction here and there's not, I've got to wait for this. I've got to wait for this to process. So let's give it a bit more time. Okay, so I've just seen I've just seen a message pop up on my other monitor. And that's it. Transaction four confirmed. Right. So that transaction is in play now, and I guess I can just simply wait for my wait for that Bitcoin to come across. Now, obviously, a Bitcoin transaction can take a bit of time. So what will be happening is the system will burn. It will burn Satoshi's. Sorry, it will burn Merck. So it will burn Merck and then it will simply transfer Bitcoin or Satoshi's out of the reserve and they will show up back in my wallet. So I think something I've forgotten to do here is actually go to my pending transactions and burn these burn these um, Merc to get my Satoshi out. So I'll use the I'll use the Ethereum to do that. Okay, so hopefully that will now burn out and I'll see those uh, 5.5 show up, show up back here. Okay, so I'm just just in the other PC monitor, you can see those transactions have confirmed. And then straight away, actually, in my Electrum wallet, I get that. So. It didn't take long, actually. Oh yeah, there we go. It arrived. 